90% of individuals play FIFA because we have an emotional dependency on FIFA. We have a social dependency on FIFA. EA has created, has engineered that social dependency for the game, that social love for the game. That 90% of us just play right now just for the sake of playing the new FIFA. It has become such a strain on individuals mentally that EA has changed the name and sales has not dropped. You remember? Do you remember? Why we played FIFA? The love we had for the game? The beautiful passing? The beautiful goals? The mistakes made to usher in and create something fresh and something new? FIFA has lost the what makes it beautiful 07 FIFA 07 can you recall can you remember the glory days where you had to build your own stadium spend money and revamp the stadium make the stadium the five star the best it can be spend money and Build coaching staff, spend more your building coaching facilities. You have to sign different sponsors because different sponsors guarantee so much money you make on a weekly basis. Current mode was the bomb, the bomb share was current mode. People love FIFA for that. People played FIFA for that. People have endured in FIFA, buy FIFA every year, expecting them to bring out something great. I remember I stopped by FIFA after I didn't buy 15 and then buy 16 and then I bought 17 because I thought it was something new. But guess what? It was only okay. You answer two questions before the match. You answer two questions after the match, and that is okay. This is what coin mode is to you. Coin mode was more than that. Coin mode, coin mode was was an ingenious game. It was a strategy of FIFA. It was a chess. Of the FIFA, Koemon had you had you feeling like a genius among boys. FIFA was not about just ultimate teams, about spending money and getting new packs. FIFA takes your money now, basically every week. You have people who go to work just to supply FIFA you work hard blue collar jobs just to supply FIFA and then you are frustrated because guess what everybody will just spam um, spam the game two back fours when you get a ball just step over flush FIFA has lost the theme. It has lost what made it so charismatic, what made it so great. It has lost these things. FIFA was the game to play. Everybody wanted to play FIFA. I remember in when 08 came out, me and my friends, we were so good at FIFA that we used to play, play for free. 
I remember I had a day my friend got nine nil by a crew. And everybody was boasting, everybody was laughing at him. And I went to the next day in the arcade and I beat everybody, every one of them. Revenge on my crew. And my crew was only four players strong. And their crew was about seven to eight players. We loved FIFA. FIFA had us in clicks. FIFA had us arguing. FIFA had us. FIFA had us just dreaming of what it could be when the years passed by. And those of us who stick with it to 10, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14. We're in 24 now. We're in 24 now. Are you telling me all that FIFA can offer for current mode? Which used to be the bread and butter of the game. All it can offer for current mode is two questions before, two questions after, and you're good to go. Go and play the next match. The new training, the, the new training regiment is just a lazy thing. Eh? It's just because why the engineers become more lazy. So, I believe it's it's a beautiful thing that FIFA and EA has parted ways. I believe that the sun is shining on FIFA, real FIFA fans. <laughs> because they have parted ways. They're no longer here together. Not again. Not anymore. Who is there now? So, through the group then, and I have two good sources very very good sources i mean i was actually speaking to one of the marketing the one of the marketing um executives a former marketing executive um of ea and he said right now ea try not to notice but it's it, there's a small fraction in ea that says that it's a problem is a problem that FIFA is going to partner or FIFA is trying to partner with 2K Sports 2K Sports and those of you guys who played franchise for the NBA I mean let's be honest 2K Sports does a really wonderful job you have to keep everybody happy you have to keep the managers happy. Um, as that you as the general manager, um, well, as a head, as a head GM, you have to keep your coaching staff happy. You have to keep your players happy because your players might demand a trade. If your players get angry, they might demand a trade. If they get too angry, they will not renew the contract. It have emotions in that game. And although you may not be a real basketball fan, you tend to play it because you know why? 2K brings a little bit of emotion in the ocean. You gotta subscribe to this channel. Come on, people, hit that like button. Yeah, so 2K brings emotion into the game. They make you feel like you are a head coach, that you are a general manager. That you have so much responsibilities on the wikis up. He's like, oh my god. <sighs> Honey, I'm tired. You know? They, they, they make you feel like you are a true worker. And you love the game for it because the game gives you that insight in what is what it means to be a real. A real executive of an NBA franchise, and it's great, <laughs> you know. So, I think 2K could 
actually create something that the fans will love. I think Tuki, knowing that a huge demographic of fans still waiting on Koye Mood, still waiting on something. I mean, it's 2024. We should be able to relocate our stadiums. We should be able to buy more land. We should be able to create more parking space. We should be able to widen the stadium. We should be able to create more bleachers. We should be able to rename our stadium. And although the stadium not in the game, we should be able to rename our stadium. Those of us who like the camp know. Speaking about myself. We should be able to do these things at them. But we can't. Because why? He botch the system. He thought about the money. And once the money keep rolling in, we ain't gonna do no better. Because no person knows how to buy cut a game. But there just might be a mistake. Making us socially dependent on the word FIFA and the game FIFA. When 2K comes out with FIFA 2K24 to 25, FIFA 2K25 or FIFA K25, the word FIFA will drive a lot of people to 2K. He will lose. Now there are some people in the company, I, I, I heard from the executive for some knowledge. I asked him if I could mention his name. He said no. There are some people in the company company who are afraid. They are afraid of this. Some people don't believe it's realistic. Some people don't believe it could happen. But to this point, I heard that it's a real possibility. They are actually working out a deal. I really don't like the first option on the table because I think the first option on the table they want to work out a deal for the Lego game and then after creating the Lego game then they start to do the World Cup and then from the World Cup they have I don't like that We we the fans we would like to see FIFA 2K25 on the shelves by November 25th um, 25 right by the 25th of november on our shelves we want to see 2k fifa we want to see new fifa out and trust me people are starving because efc will never be able to quench the thirst that fifa can quench and I guarantee you that these guys will do a way better job. I guarantee you that they will do a better job. So, 2K is working on getting the license for FIFA. And it's, it's, some people say, okay, that it may not be great. But okay, microtransactions are something that will never go away. We have to live with it. But once they're not stopping Koi Mood from being played, they could do all the microtransactions they want. We are not going to, we don't have to buy the microtransactions. We don't have to buy into microtransactions. We don't have to spend our, our hard on dollars on microtransactions. We pay for a game, you give us the game, you give us the coin mode, are we good to go? We cover online coin mode too. Right? That would be really nice. That would be really nice. Um, you know, like, um, different people go into different leagues and you have like, you know, so yeah, and then you go against other people. That would be really, really nice. Yeah, 
So there are so many things that I know 2K can do. And 2K, and let's be honest, 2K have an amazing van. They own the transactions. And they have they have become really skilled developers over the years. Let's give 2K a hand. Clap clap. They have become really skilled transactions over the years. So we are waiting this game. This game, the beautiful game. You understand? The game we dream about. We are awaiting it. Because like 06 said, I want to feel like I'm all in Holland. I want to feel like I'm Mbappé. You know, before you used to buy the best player sometimes because it, it, you know, the game gives you such a boost and a challenge that you want to reward yourself by buying the best players. But now he has no boost, he has no challenge. So, <laughs> why buy the best players? Why? Why buy the best players? He has no boost, he has no challenge. Just stick with what you know. Yeah. But God of it is. FIFA mindset, FIFA strength is no longer. Right? Well, the FIFA brand is strong and well and kicking. But he doesn't have it again. Because he forgot about the customer. He has forgotten about the customer you have to like you have to subscribe help this channel grow is a plea i'm asking and let's see who 2k fights back